Wow. Hey now, there we go. Right now on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, a Kentucky fine dining tradition that's three decades strong. Working at a restaurant that's older than me, I mean, <laughs> you know, you can't beat it. We're making signature dishes and giving you the recipes so you can make them yourself. Add our pears in. Right now on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Hi everybody and welcome to Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. I'm Kevin Harnett here in Paris Town at our Kitchen Theater and I'm alongside my broadcast partner Tim Laird. And Kevin, it's a great day to be in Kitchen Theater because we're revealing the secrets to one of my favorite restaurants, Buck's. It's a cornerstone of Old Louisville and it's long been a staple of the city's culinary culture. The dining room is bursting with fresh flowers and live piano music and it's famous for its impeccable cuisine. Tim, we're going to get the secrets to some of Buck's most popular dishes today, including their famous meatballs, and wait until you see the secret ingredient that makes these so special. We're also making quail infused with all your favorite Kentucky flavors. What do you say? Let's get cooking and let's bring on executive chef Tony Lombardo. Tony, welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you. We're glad you're here. Me too. Man, you know, we were asking the audience uh, before the show began, how many people have been to Bucks? There are several. Bucks is such a well-known place in this city. What an honor oh, to yeah. work there, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, it's great. Uh, working at a restaurant that's older than me, I mean, <laughs> you know, you can't beat it. <laughs> but, no, its history is really amazing. It's been around for quite some time. Yeah, the restaurant opened as Bucks in uh, 1992. And it's been going strong ever since. And, and it has a little Kentucky history to it, too, because the original owner was Buck, right? Yeah, so Buck actually won at the Kentucky Derby, won a trifecta, and that was the money he used to open up the restaurant. <laughs> there you go. Now you know the secret, see? More than just cooking. What are we making today? So right now we're going to be making some of our meatballs on our new menu. Okay. Uh, these originated actually from my grandmother's recipe. Oh, nice. So. I put a few little twists on it to make it my own. So I, I remember you told me when you tasted it, it brought you right back to your grandma's cooking. Yes, which it is, did. I mean, that's fun to have that. It truly is grandma's recipe, but with a little twist of uh, right. Tony. Right, exactly. And, all right, well, right. let's get started. People right. don't want to know how to make grandma's meatballs. So right here, we have some of our fresh ground beef that comes off of our uh, filet mignon and off of our ribeyes that we do at the restaurant. Here we have some of our uh, pork scraps that come off of Duroc pork, which is a fantastic breed of pork. Uh, and one of our big secrets here is uh, onion. So instead of mincing an onion, we actually put it in a blender or a food processor with a touch of water, probably about an ounce per onion. And you blend it up until you get this nice onion smoothie. Wow, it's like a slurry. Yeah. And you know what's interesting about that? Rather than chopping up an onion and putting it in there, you're going to get that onion flavor throughout the entire yeah, meatball. Yeah, throughout the whole meatball, yeah. What a great secret that yeah. is. I never would have thought about doing that. It's nice. fantastic. Like so, a little binding agent, too, right? Yeah, it works great. So we're going to go ahead and add our meat to the bowl here. Just mix that up a little bit. We're going to throw in one egg. Throw in some fresh or dry oregano, some dry parsley. A lot of flavor going in. Oh, yeah. Lots of garlic. Some say you can't have too much garlic. No. I'm one of those people. Oh, well, especially with the name Lombardo. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. And we're going to add some of our three cheese blend here. And each one of those cheeses are great. They have their own unique style to it. Yeah, they add a lot of flavor. And we're going to add a little salt and pepper. We're going to add some of our onion here. Not quite all of it. Probably about half. We're going to add some breadcrumbs and just a touch of crushed red pepper. Give it a little zing, boom. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and mix those up as efficiently as we can because we don't want to over mix meatballs. That's another that's, secret to a good that's meatball. That's a big secret, yes. This would be a great uh, with a bottle of wine or a glass of wine, have that with that meatball. Mm-hmm. Oh, but speaking of wine, wow. 
You have a bourbon collection like no other. How, we do. How yeah. many bourbons? So at Bucks, we have, I believe it's 150 different types of bourbon. Oh, wow. So if you can think of it, we have it. And if we don't have it, we can get it. <laughs> and, and you know, we were talking about the live fresh flowers, but right when you walk in, that bar is so classic. Just yeah, beautiful right there. Yeah, it really right is. There. The Star of Bethlehem is just surrounding the bar. Yeah. And uh, intermingled amongst the flowers, we have all of our bottles of bourbon lined up. So it really cool. sets the ambiance. So right now I'm just portioning them out into, meat, into you know, individual meatballs. And then we're gonna take these and we're gonna put them either on a sheet tray or in a pan if you don't have one. And we're gonna bake them in the oven at 400 degrees for about 25 minutes. You notice I don't have any oil in the pan. That's because, like I said, the pork has a lot of uh, fat content to it. And so as it starts to cook, a lot of that fat's gonna render out and it's gonna basically lubricate the pan for us. And you would be amazed at how much uh, fat and oil is in the it's bottom of that pan. It's gonna produce that, yeah. Well, I was wondering where the oil was, so I'm glad you explained. <laughs> Plus that's gonna bring its own flavor right. to it. I mean, it really that's does. the thing. You don't have to mask it with any other oils. It's plenty of flavor right there. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and throw these in the oven. Perfect. All right, while that's in the oven, we will take a quick break and we've got more secrets of bluegrass chefs when we come back. Stay with us. Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs is brought to you in part by Hessig and Pohl Injury Lawyers, 502 777 777 Make food service easier with help from Dine Company, the restaurant store. If you prep, cook, or serve food, we serve you. Shop Louisville's largest selection of new and used food equipment and smallwares in store or online at dinecompany.com. Experience the difference our people make at Dine Company, family owned and operated since 1982. Authentic Mexican cuisine at Gustavo's with five locations, including one on Hurstbourne Parkway. It's food that goes way beyond burritos and tacos with everything from sizzling fajitas to seafood. The bar is stocked with bourbon and one of the best selections of tequila in the area and Gustavo's own Vida de Reyes Mexican Lager with a hint of jalapeno. Taste and feel the authenticity at Gustavo's Mexican Grill in Crestwood, LaGrange, Prospect, Norton Commons, and now on Hurstbourne. Open every day for lunch and dinner. Gustavo's Mexican Grill. Tim Lair back with you on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, and it's time now to head out on the cocktail tour. This time, we're in Nelson County, just down the road from the Abbey at Gethsemane at the Log Still Distillery. This is home to Monk's Road, fine bourbons and gins, along with a great concert venue known as The Amp, which features lots of well-known national acts. There's also a fantastic event venue called The Legacy, and plenty of great drinks like this one. All right, guys, so today I brought you a cocktail that is very near and dear to my heart, the Monk's Road Fire and Ice. Two and a half ounces of our Monk's Road weeded bourbon. Straight into the glass. Freshly squeezed lemon juice three quarters of an ounce of our Turbinado Simple Syrup. Quarter of an ounce of our Worcestershire sauce, right into the glass. And for our secret ingredient, the Crystal's Hot Sauce. We're also gonna use a quarter of an ounce. All right, we're just gonna fill this up with ice. We're gonna give it a nice stir. It's gonna be garnished with a dried chili pepper. And there we have it the Monk's Road Fire and Ice. Cheers. Cheers to you, Tara. And stick around, because we have more Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs coming up. The Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs Cocktail Tour is presented by The Amp at Dant Crossing.
Originally in Tribeca, New York City, Rock is now in Louisville. Rock offers homemade and fresh quality food with an extensive wine and bourbon list. I will ensure that your Italian experience will be memorable. Rock on Barstown Road. Ciao, a presto. Paris Town, home of Kitchen Theater. I'm Kevin Harnett, and you're watching Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Everyone is talking about Paris Town these days because there's always something happening here. Concerts, festivals, and always fun shopping at Stoneware and Company. This is also home to the Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs Kitchen Theater, where we have a fantastic studio audience with us today. All right, Kevin, I'm excited. Uh, I think those meatballs are about ready. Yeah, while we were in the commercial break, we did just a couple of things. You want to explain to the audience? Yeah, so during the break, we went ahead and added our marinara to the pan. Once the meatballs were basically done, give them another five or ten minutes or so with the sauce in there. And then we went ahead and put some fresh mozzarella on the top and put them back in for another two to three minutes. Let that cheese melt nice and nice and gooey. All right. By and the magic of TV, we can show you what ahead, that looks like. Pull those out. Right. Oh, wow. Yeah. Can you guys see that? that? Yeah, tilt that up to that camera there. Yeah. Oh. Did you guys see that? Oh. Wow. Now, Chef, uh, you know, before we plate this up, I want to talk about your china you have in yeah. there. It's amazing. It doesn't match, but you have really nice china. Tell yeah, us about so, that. Yeah, uh, so one of our main things at Bucks is our mismatching china, where people come in and, you know, sometimes they'll even donate their own, you know, and. <laughs> It's just kind of fun come in and see your entree that you bought at a restaurant that's coming out on your own plates, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of which, I, uh, since I know you donate them, I just happen to bring uh, some out of our china closet as well right. that I'd like to donate. And uh, right. here's Thank a few you. samples, and I don't know if you want to pick one that you like to, yeah, uh, we'll go ahead and to plate these. up. Actually, yeah, I like this one. All right. Got a lot of nice color, too. We'll save all the rest for the restaurant. All right. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> you bet. We're going to get some of that sauce. And that's been, again, cooking, simmering for the amount mm. of time. Imagine the flavor in that. And is there any secret you want to share about the marinara for folks? Like, what kind of marinara do I need to use? So we use a pretty basic marinara recipe, and then we spice it up a bit. So we add crushed red pepper and a little bit of hot sauce. You can kind of use whatever is your favorite hot sauce, honestly. We prefer Tabasco at the restaurant. It adds a lot of great flavor. Cuts through the, the meatballs really, really well. Oh, that is a nice dish. Wow. That Cheese looks is so good. perfectly on top. Whoosh. So this is our appetizer portion. Wow. It's four, yeah. That's generous. We have no problem giving anybody any more if they want them. <laughs> a good, good sharing appetizer, too, yeah, at the beginning. Say. Making you guys hungry? You're going to get a chance to take a taste. A Just hang bit. in there. All right. Beautiful. Oh, a garnish? Our wow. Meatballs. You know and what? there you have it. Just like Grandma's. You know what I like about this? <laughs> Grandma's recipe with a little Tony twist and a little memory from my mother. It's her china. So, Is that right? Uh, it's great. Very nice. A that family affair even... of meatballs. <laughs> Special. We're not finished sharing the secrets, so Tony, what's coming up next? Up next, we have our maple bourbon quail. Maple Ooh. bourbon quail. Maple wow. bourbon right. quail. We're going to learn the secrets to that. Settle in with us. We'll be back with more secrets of Bluegrass Chefs right after this. Oh, excellent, Tony. Great job, buddy. I'm Natalie Reese, the owner of Cooking at Millie's. We bring in local chefs from restaurants all around Louisville to walk you through a three-course meal. It's a fun evening of you making dinner, eating, and learning a few things while drinking a glass of wine. We would love for you to join us one evening. Cooking at Millie's is for everyone. You know, bring a friend, bring your significant other, bring whoever you want. Just have a great dinner and a great night out. Italian at its finest, Volare. Inspired cuisine by Chef Josh Moore. Intimate dining, private events, and year-round patio seating. Savor Volare. Cocktails and dinners seven nights a week. Volare on Frankfurt Avenue.
Tim Lair with you again on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. It's time now for another wine find. For that, we head over to the wine rack with John Johnson on Frankfurt Avenue. Well, this time on Wine Finds, we have two exciting new sparkling wines. One uh, from the Southern French region of the Languedoc and the other from the Veneto in Italy. Wine number one is what we call a Cremant. Cremant is made in the same traditional method as Champagne, but from regions outside of Champagne. Uh, but it's very similar and a lot more affordable pricing than your typical Champagne. This wine is $21.99, so about half the price of most Champagne. This one here is what's called a Cremant de Lemu. Uh, so this is Cremant from Lemu. Lemu is a very uh, hilly area in Languedoc, which is in southern France, borders the Mediterranean Sea. And this is from Gerard Bertrand, one of my favorite producers. It's made from Chardonnay, uh, Chenin Blanc, and Pinot Noir grapes. Uh, all the grapes have to be, by law, hand harvested. Uh, and the wine has to spend at least nine months, what we call on the lees, or on tirage. That's after the secondary fermentation in the bottle. So very similar to a champagne, uh, and it drinks like a champagne. This wine has a lot of nice apple -y notes to it, uh, some citrus, especially lemon, a little bit of a salinity quality, and just a little bit of toastiness. And I think it's an exceptional value. Pairs great with everything from oysters on the half shell, your favorite seafood dish, uh, to a broad range of actually fried foods as well. So Gerard Bertrand Cremant de Lemu uh, for $21.99. And next up, we have a Prosecco. Prosecco is made in the Veneto region of Italy, so that's Northeast Italy. Different methodology in the production of a Prosecco than a Champagne or a Cremant. By that I mean the secondary fermentation is done in tank and not bottle. That makes the wine a little bit lighter, a little bit more fruit forward, a little bit less expensive than a Champagne as well. It's a great brunch sparkling wine, and this one from Colorado uh, is one of my favorites and a brand new one here at the Wine Rack. It's a $14.99 bottle. Come check out these wines and all the other sparkling wines we have here to share with you at the Wine Rack. We think you'll like what you find. Cheers. Thanks, John, and stick around for more secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. The Wine Rack, bringing you wines, beers, spirits, and cheeses of the world for over 18 years. Local, independent, and now offering delivery from the heart of Crescent Hill and online at wineshoplouisville.com. Si tienes un accidente, llámanos. Te ayudamos. Stop chasing your dog with a toothbrush. The easy alternative for your pet's oral health is Pet Silver Teeth and Gum Spray. It targets tartar and plaque, reduces inflammation, and gets rid of funky pet breath. Pet Silver products use an exclusive formula of all natural chelated silver that's safe for dogs and cats of any age. Add it to their water bowl or just give them a spray once or twice a day. Pet Silver Teeth and Gum Spray is the natural way to better oral health. And try Pet Silver's Wound Spray for itchy skin and hot spots. Made in Kentucky and available online at PetSilver.com. Pet Silver Wellness, the natural solution. Shop and learn more at PetSilver.com. At Ditto's, one of the region's top chefs is preparing your next meal, like the French Quarter Pork Chop Portofino or Ditto's Chicken Marsala and Citrus Salad. Ditto's Grill, delightful, delectable, delicious. It's got to be Ditto's. Bardstown Road at Grinstead Drive. Ho, ho, ho! It's that time of year again, and we've been working hard in our workshop. I'm taking a break right now from the North Pole to let you know that me and my elves have teamed up with Zucker to save you money this holiday season. With Santa and Zucker, you can save 50% when you buy gift certificates for your family and friends. My elves, Juan Ho and Brandon. Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas. And my other elves have been working hard to make these gift certificates to save you money to local restaurants and merchants. Buy a $50 gift certificate for $25. That's a $50 value for just $25. Buy a $20 gift certificate for $10. You can buy them now for those on your gift list or yourself. Then me and my elves will deliver them to their email on Christmas Day or any day you choose. And 50% off these gift certificates won't last long. So what are you waiting for? Download the free Zucker app or go to Zucker.com and buy them before they're all gone. X-O-O-K-E-R. Zucker. Download Zucker and start saving big today. 
Savor seasonal food and fine wine on Frankfurt Avenue at Veronese with live jazz seven days a week. Cocktails, dinner, and private events. Late night dining, too. The place to be is at the V. Veronese on Frankfurt Avenue. Welcome back to Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, and we're cooking today with Tony Lombardo of Buck's Restaurants. I'll tell you what, it's a traditional, fine, classic dining place in Louisville. Oh, yeah. And I know you have a lot of bourbon on the shelf, but actually sometimes some of that bourbon makes its way back to the kitchen, I understand. Usually in my glass, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not necessarily into the food. <laughs> but this time I think we're gonna make a quail with a uh, maple bourbon glaze. We are. Ooh, now, that sounds good. How's that sound, huh? Let's walk through the ingredients. So the first thing we have is our quail. This is actually from North Carolina. It's farm raised. We have some oil, salt and pepper, a little bit of asparagus, just some butter, blueberries, a couple of fresh pears, uh, some microgreens from a local uh, microgreen company called Smarty Plants. I, re I highly recommend them. Nice. And uh, this is our mixture of maple syrup and bourbon. Oh, that's a good combination yeah. too. Oh. And then we're going to take our quail, and we've already went ahead and cut them in half. We're going to go ahead and dredge them in some flour that's been seasoned with salt and pepper. And that goes a dredge right into the flour. Nothing oh, yeah. else. Nope, nothing else. And we're just doing a light coating. We're not even really breading it per se. Let me go ahead and lay them in there. That was sizzles, what you're looking for. It'll oh, come yeah. out nice, crispy brown. And as you throw them in there, you want to swirl them just so your flour doesn't stick to the edge and burn. Okay. That will definitely ruin your sauce. This is another grandma memory for me. I remember making fried chicken. Oh, growing up on the East Coast, we do not have quail. Yeah, so, well, you're a New Jersey so, boy, right? Yeah. yeah, I'm originally from New Jersey, so this is uh, definitely something I picked up once I came here. So we're just going to wait for these to get that nice golden Beautiful. brown. Oh. We'll go ahead and flip them over here. Will that look good? Oh, that's, it's, it's starting it to smell good. good. Right. You can see the crispiness on that. So we're going to oh. get that pan nice and hot, make a little real estate here. And then we're going to go in and add our pears in. Those are going to start to caramelize a little bit. Mm. Once those start to soften, that's when we're going to add our bourbon and our maple. All right. Now, fun, fun tip. Pull the pan away from the flame before you add your alcohol. Wow! Hey now, there we go. Right, so we're gonna let that burn down till all the They didn't let you do that in high gone. school. No. <laughs> no. Oh, and look how that's adding all the flavor oh. and that glaze oh, now. Yeah. It's, oh. Smell it. Oh my gosh. All right, so once, once the sauce burns out, all the alcohol burns out, we're going to add just a touch of chicken stock. And we're going to let that reduce for a few minutes. Because that's going to create a nice sauce then, right? Once that oh, yeah. reduces down and yeah, you've got all the flavors. Yeah, once that all melds together. Oh, it will get much it's thicker be than really it is good now. Yeah. That. And what do we serve this with? Uh, right over here we have some Weisenberger grits, which are also uh, okay. from a Kentucky brand, they're from Lexington. They're amazing. They have a much bigger grit than, uh, you know, like a standard like five minute grit or something like that. Everybody loves the Weisenberger. Yeah, well, they're fantastic. I understand why everybody likes them. So we're going to go ahead and season our sauce now. And our quail is already seasoned because we had seasoning in the flour. So we're going to go ahead and go around the perimeter of the pan here with our salt and pepper. Well, that's an interesting that's a, te technique. I was just about to say the same thing. I'm not sure I've ever seen that done. So it looks like it's going to burn around the side of the pan, but when you swirl it, it goes right into the sauce. Oh, so it's going into the sauce, not right directly not onto directly the quail on that's the already bird, been yeah. seasoned. Yep. There's another secret. All right, and so we're almost there. Probably another maybe 20 seconds of reducing. All right. And Tim's got us another piece of china we're going to use. Yeah, I yeah, found another piece uh, we can donate to the cause. So uh, Yeah, let's nice. go ahead and use Ooh. it. 
Yeah. For folks uh, wanting to know where you're located, you want to tell them where Bucks is? Yeah, we're in Old Louisville, uh, 425 West Ormsby. Uh, we're in the bottom of the Mayflower building. It's very historic. It was built in 1927, I think. It's been Bucks since 1992, so we have a lot of history there. Quail is done. We're going to go ahead and turn the flame off. We're going to take some butter here. We're going to throw that in the pan. We're just going to swirl it. And while that butter's melting, we're going to take some of our blueberries. We're going to throw those in. You don't want to throw those in too early because they will break down and then your sauce turns purple and it doesn't quite taste the same. So we're going to take our grits here. We're going to make them nice and stiff for this. Gives us an easy plating platform. Plus it'll soak up some of that uh, sauce when it goes on. It really will. And we're going to take our asparagus. Right in line with our grits here. And we're going to take our quail. That is going to taste amazing. Yeah, this, this is one of my favorite dishes. It's been selling so well at the restaurant. And I have a feeling here in a little bit it's going to start selling even better. I think so. I believe so. <laughs> We're going to take our pears out. They're nice and soft. We're going to sneak those in there. Throw our blueberries on. And now we're going to oh, yeah. go with the sauce and oh, yeah. do not worry about using too much. Finish it. Some of our microgreens. How do you like that? Whoa, we love that. We appreciate you being here to share your secrets. The meatballs, good, right? Yes, you're going to have a chance to taste the quail and of course that uh, bourbon maple sauce. That's amazing. You're going to taste that coming up. For folks at home saying, wait a minute, why are they getting to take a taste and I'm not? You can too. Just log on to mintjuleptours.com. Tony, awesome Thanks job. Thanks for having me on the show. You bet. Hey, one last secret. Yes. Tony Lombardo is also known as Tony Spumoni. Is that true? They called you that? That is true. Real quick, I'd like to get a round of applause. This is my Here sous chef, is. Matthew. Well, thank you. Nice work, well done. Well, unfortunately, we're out of time. We'll see you next time on <laughs> Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Good night. Make food service easier with help from Dine Company, the restaurant store. If you prep, cook, or serve food, we serve you. Shop Louisville's largest selection of new and used food equipment and smallwares in store or online at dinecompany.com. Experience the difference our people make at Dine Company, family owned and operated since 1982. River House Restaurant and Raw Bar, now open for lunch and dinner seven days a week. Featuring the cuisine of Chef John Veronese with a Southern-inspired menu and an emphasis on seafood with a spectacular raw bar. River House, right next to the water tower at 3015 River Road. Reservations recommended. Olive oil is an essential part of a healthy, low-cholesterol diet, and it comes in all flavors at Z Olive, home to the finest extra virgin olive oils from around the world. And you can try all of them before you buy. Z Olive also has a wide variety of fine balsamic vinegars, great locale flavorings for everything from ice cream to steaks, marinades, and glazes. Z Olive makes the perfect gift, or make it your secret ingredient. Taste the finest at Z Olive in Westport Village. Stop chasing your dog with a toothbrush. Use Pet Silver Teeth and Gum Spray, the natural solution for your pet's oral health and funky pet breath. Get Pet Silver online at PetSilver.com. Ho, ho, ho! It's that time of year again, and we've been working hard in my workshop. I'm taking a break right now from the North Pole to let you know that me and my elves have teamed up with Zucker to save you money this holiday season. Juan Ho and Brandon. Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas. And my other elves have been working hard to make these gift certificates to save you money to local restaurants and merchants. These gift certificates won't last long. Download the free Zucker app or go to Zucker.com and buy them before they're all gone. X-O-O-K-E-R. Download Zucker and start saving big today.